Hello, everybody. Welcome again to another edition of Badger Blitz TV. I am Jay Kokorowski, senior writer at BadgerBlitz.com. Of course, your Rivals.com destination for all things Wisconsin athletics on the recruiting trail inside Camp Randall Stadium and on the court of the Kohl Center. And busy Monday. We got a lot to get to that you've seen it on BadgerBlitz.com. Obviously, Joe Rudolph, the offensive line coach, so, uh, associate head coach, leaving for Virginia Tech, Leo Chanel declaring for the NFL draft. But uh, the big good news, the big positives coming from Wisconsin on Monday the announcement of the transfer commitment of cornerback Justin Clark from Toledo. Guess what? We have him here on Badger Blitz TV. Justin, man, appreciate you making time. How are you doing? And just how are you feeling after the decision? Yeah, man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm excited um, to be at Madison. I'm just, you know, ready to work and I'm ready to have some great, good fun this year. Now, taking a look at some of the stats for you, Justin, you know, Played 45 games at Toledo, 109 tackles, four interceptions, 16 passes defended between the 2017-2021 seasons. Last season, 22 tackles, one interception, one pass defended in 11 games. And yesterday was the big news that you, com- you know, committed. Just, I guess overall, uh, you know, what made you move on uh, from Toledo after this season, and when did you first hear back, you know, from Wisconsin about their interest? Right. Um, so. You know, I just decided to leave Toledo. Uh, you know, I just wanted to do something different. Um, and uh, when I decided to enter the portal, um, I just, like a week after or maybe a week or two, I got a phone call from Coach Petit just saying, you know, he needed a veteran presence in the room. And it was a, it was a sh- no-brainer, you know, so. Absolutely. When you have the... I guess with that too, you know, uh, with with talking about Coach Poteet, just you know, what made you decide to come to Wisconsin? What were the conversations, and 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 what ultimately made you choose coming to Madison? Then, uh, I mean, so uh, I've been playing for Coach Poteet for the past four years. Um, you know, he's a great coach. Um, he, he developed me um, into the player I am today, and uh, you know, I just decided, you know, he would um, be a great. Uh, coach to develop me to get to the next level um, because ultimately you know that's, that's the goal um, and you know I'm just you know I'm just you know excited to be able to work with him again um, so absolutely now I mean how much did he you know you talked about coach Wattie just you know how much him being your position coach you know for those years from the 2017 to 29 uh, 2020 just you know how much did he play a role in your decision and just you know how how was that rapport getting back in touch with him and talking to him yeah, man. So you know, I, I mean, um, you know, going through this year, you know, I just decided, you know, um, and I needed, uh, like I said, I needed just a new start. And you know, I was looking at schools, and I'm like, you know, I play for, uh, I'm looking at Wisconsin, and I'm like, well, there's a coach that I already played for for a while. He knows me. I know him. You know, I know his style. Um, he's transparent. Um, you know, he he always gonna put us in the best positions to be successful. Um, and so, you know, I kind of just, you know, played the season out and I just, you know, played for my brothers at Toledo. And, and after, you know, the season was over, um, I decided to, you know, leave. So I mean, that's pretty much it. Gotcha. I was going to say, any good uh, Coach Poteet stories from your time at Toledo, too, as well, when it comes to that? Or? <laughs> yeah, man, he uh, <laughs> yeah, he always he always going to say little stuff, man. Try to, he know he know my, 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 my personality. I'm not a not a big rah rah guy, but you know, I kind of just put in my work and um, kind of just you know, uh, lead by example kind of guy. He, he know I'm kind of quiet, so he'll just say little stuff, <laughs> kind of to, to get under my skin and get me going. But you know, you know, he, he it's all in a good place. So, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what type of scheme does Toledo did Toledo run for you while you were there for the MAC program, and you know, just how were you utilized within that system? Uh, I'm sorry, you said what kind of system? Yeah, what type of scheme, a defensive scheme that, that Toledo ran, and how are you utilized within it? Right. Um, so we, we, we ran, um, we had, you know, uh, certain packages. Uh, I think it was based on the type of team we played. Um, I know a lot of teams in the MAC ran 12 personnel. So we ran a lot of base defense. Um, so, I mean, I would just be outside corner. Um, and then there was some teams that ran a lot of 11 personnel, uh, you know, and so we run nickel. And I know uh, freshman year, sophomore uh, play a lot of nickel, a lot of inside and outside, um, and a lot of dime on third down. 
So, you know, that's 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 something I bring to the table. And then kind of over the years, oh, we kind of got other guys in there could kind of like take some of that load off of, you know, because I was playing both. So, you know, but and I, I would kind of uh, – like to do both again, just to, you know, just to show that, you know, you, you still versatile and you can, you can play, you know, many positions on the field and, you know, it just shows that you're intelligent. So. And that leads us me, me into the next question too. Just how does Wisconsin plan to utilize you once you get to, you know, Wisconsin, just, you know, how do they look at you in that defensive backfield? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but you know, I know, I know it's going to be a, uh, a fun experience. Um, I just want to, I told the coach, I just want to be a, a great asset to the team. You know, I know, I know we can do some special things over there in Madison. And uh, like I said, man, I'm just excited, you know, whatever, whatever I got to do. So, and then, uh, you know, you and I uh, talked a little bit beforehand, but just, you know, when do you plan to arrive uh, in Madison and are you able to, you know, you know, you said you were able to play right away in 2021, but are you able to participate in, in spring ball coming up? Yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure uh, I'll, I'll do a spring ball. Um, I'm, I've got to check and make sure. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm doing spring ball. I just want to get in there and uh, learn the playbook, um, bond with my new teammates, you know, get to know them, and you know, just you know, get, a, get off to a good start. Uh, anybody, has anybody reached out since – I mean, I know it's less than 24 hours since you announced your commitment. Has anybody from the team, uh, you know, messaged you at all? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so number eleven, the corner. Yep. Uh, he reached out to me. Um, uh, he just, you know, he was sounded sound like he was excited to um, have me there. You know, and, and I'm excited to work with him. Um, you know, I think we can um, bring some good experience to that room. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just can't wait to get there. Yep. Oh, and that's Alexander Smith, number eleven, there, who actually started in in the Las Vegas Bowl for for Fayon Hicks, who's now going on to the NFL uh, to yep. pursue his dream there. Uh, last question for you, Justin, before I let you go: uh, What should fan so fans get to know you a little bit better? What should fans expect from you uh, this, coming up this year? And then, what are your expectations for yourself in twenty twenty two? Oh, okay. Oh, say, you trying? You kind of cut out. Oh, I did. Of... Oh, sorry about that. No, I was going to say, uh, what should Wisconsin fans expect from you in 2022? And then what are your expectations for yourself for next season? Um, just <laughs> uh, new energy. I mean, I feel like I'm bringing some, some uh, great energy to the table. Uh, and just excitement. <laughs> you know, I like to joke around. I like to laugh. Man, I like to play. You know, that's just that's just my personality. I just like to um, be around people, man. So you know, I'm just excited to get around all those people and and just and just let them get to know me, you know, and and how, and how I operate. So you know, and hopefully, you know, and they 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 appreciate it. So excellent, Justin, man. We appreciate you coming on the, the Badger Blitz TV, man. Appreciate you. Uh, looking forward to covering you once you get up here to Madison. Oh, appreciate you. Folks, that's Justin Clark, new Wisconsin cornerback commitment, uh, obviously from T Toledo. Uh, by the way, oh, Justin, real quick, I was going to say, one more question for you. West Bloomfield Heist is where, is where you played football. Do you remember A.J. Abbott, uh, Taj Mustafa? I know Taj, uh, yeah. I, think, I believe, is no longer in the program, but A.J. Abbott, do you have any fun stories about A.J. Uh, from, from the time there? Nah, I mean, I just remember meeting him, and I'm like, this dude, real confident. <laughs> like, like just meeting this dude and he was he he was a senior i think when i was like a sophomore um at toledo you know he was a uh, just confident guy you know he 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 got a lot of ability and so i'm just you know I'm excited to you know reunite with him too and just get to know him more because i didn't really get to you know know him obviously because i didn't really go to high school with him so Excellent. I was going to say, yeah, the, the Michigan connections continue for Wisconsin there. Uh, big thanks to Justin again for his time. Folks, make sure you guys check out Badger Blitz TV a little bit later this week. We'll have more about all the news that's come out so far this week regarding Wisconsin football. We'll probably talk some Wisconsin basketball too. So y'all take care. This is Jay Kokorowski again. We'll talk to you soon on BadgerBlitz.com and Badger Blitz TV.